back to another video. My name is Caitlin if you're new and we're just gonna do a little weekend vlog. It's Saturday morning. I've just been relaxing this morning. Mitch is fishing with his dad and his brothers today and he slept um, at his parents house last night because they left really early this morning so I've been on my own last night and this morning and I've literally just been laying on the couch and watching YouTube <laughs> hey can you let me talk for a second she's freaking out because there has been so many animals this morning we had a deer come through there's been bunnies there's been birds there's been squirrels chipmunks we live in the woods so we always get a lot of animals, but she's like super excited about it because she saw a deer really early this morning. <laughs> you know, butt scratch. And um, anyway, I've just been like vegging out. I was like, ooh, I'll get up and I'll read. And I was like, you know what? No, my alarm went off at 6 a.m. this morning. We have an, like an actual alarm clock. And I forgot to turn the alarm off and it went, out, went off at 6 a.m. And I laid in bed for an hour trying to fall back asleep and I never get good sleep when Mitch is not home so I was like I'm just gonna lay and try and fall asleep because I didn't get to bed till like 1 a.m. last night and I couldn't fall back asleep so I ended up laying in bed for like an hour scrolling on my phone and then I got up made some coffee and just watched some YouTube and now I'm trying to prep the house a little bit um, we got back from vacation like a week ago and this week we've been like on a vacation hangover and haven't really done anything to clean up and organize the house. I'm not even fully unpacked yet if I'm being honest. So I'm having a couch get delivered today. I have no idea what time that it's coming and I have no idea if it will fit in the house. So my friend's parents are moving and they needed to get rid of their couch. They thought that the, originally the people that were buying their house wanted the couch. Last minute told them that they didn't want the couch and my, it doesn't fit in my friend's house. So she asked if we wanted it and we want a couch for our basement. So I was like, yeah, we'll take it. And her parents movers are actually going to bring the couch to our house, which is so nice. So we don't have to go get it. But I don't know what time they're coming today and I have no idea if it's going to fit in the basement and if it doesn't fit in the basement we were going to maybe put it in here but I don't know if it's going to fit in here so it'll be an adventure but I want to get the house kind of picked up before the movers come and I have some laundry downstairs that I want to wrap up as well but that's like a long-winded way of saying welcome to the video I don't know what's going to be in the vlog today because I don't really know what I'm going to be doing other than picking up the house, organizing some clothes. I want to put some outfits together because I we went thrifting and I have a really good thrift haul that I want to film a video for that I'm thinking maybe I'll film tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so welcome back to another vlog. <laughs> We went thrifting and I went through the closet and I was like, I just don't see anything that I want to get rid of. So I just went and took a bunch of stuff off hangers and folded it instead to try and get some hangers because I have a big pile of clothes here, um, some of which I'm going to be doing a thrift haul. So make sure to subscribe if you are interested in thrifting and fashion hauls and stuff. But one thing that I'll show you because I want to actually take adjust it just a little bit is this cardigan. I found this cardigan when we were in South Carolina and I thought it was just like, I don't know if you can see it. I thought it was just a cute little cardigan maybe with buttoned up a pair of jeans, a cute little pair of flats, but it comes or it came with some shoulder pads here are the shoulder pads so I just wanted to take them out and I figured I would show you what I do when I have shoulder pads I didn't even realize this had shoulder pads when I picked it up and realized it 
after I washed it. So I have this little handy dandy tool. It is a seam cutter. This thing is amazing. I will find a similar one and link it below. I showed this in one of my recent thrifting my Pinterest board videos, but you have to be very careful this that you don't rip seams that you don't want to rip. So I take the shoulder pad and I try to separate it as much as I possibly can from the other piece of fabric that it is sewn to. And I find a thread, which I don't think I can show on video because it's a little too up close, but I find a thread and this tiny little tool, I just take it through the one seam and then I just rip it. I ripped one seam and then you can see they kind of all will follow. I'm trying to do a good job of showing this on camera, but it's a little hard. You can see the one seam, and then I'll literally just take this and rip. Then it doesn't destroy the seam connected to the actual piece of clothing. You're only taking off the shoulder pad. So you gotta be careful that you don't rip the seam off of the article of clothing or else you're gonna have to sew that. But shoulder pads are out after some careful manipulation. Now we just have a cute little regular cardigan. Love the color of it and stay tuned for that thrifting my pinterest board video where i will style it so going to try to fit this on the other on the rest of these hangers i need to get some hangers from the store but like i said i'm waiting for the delivery people to bring the couch and i don't want to leave the house without knowing when they're coming so going to continue to do some laundry and I'm listening to a podcast with Morgan Riddle. I have been watching her YouTube videos lately and really been enjoying them. So she was on a podcast called Making Moves with TK. I've never listened to this podcast before but I saw in her most recent YouTube video that she was recording for the podcast and so I figured I would listen to it. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing. plans they actually cannot deliver the couch until tomorrow so I'm thinking I have so much to get done that I'm like I don't even know where I should start but I have laundry to do I have bathrooms to clean I have I don't have to paint but I would love to paint our bedroom we've been working on that for like weeks now and I just want to get it done I've been procrastinating it because painting the trim around the carpet absolutely sucks but I need to get that done. And I have weeding that I want to do outside. But I'm thinking weeding might be able to wait until tomorrow or I can just like try to get a little bit of it done. But I'm kind of hungry so I think I'm going to make myself a little something to eat and then throw some laundry in and at least start painting and see how far I get with painting and maybe do like breaks in between painting and some other stuff so that I don't drive myself bonkers but I also feel like I'm like sitting on social media and I don't want to sit on social media the whole entire day so I think I'm gonna make something to eat and then I'm going to um get some painting done upstairs because 
If you've been following along with the vlogs, you're probably like, oh my gosh, you guys have been painting your room forever. Yes, we have, and I've been putting it off and putting it off, and we went on vacation, and then we got back last week, and we were just not wanting to do it, and it's like something that I love once it's done. Like, we have the trim painted in this room, and it looks so good, and I want the whole house to be like that, but I hate actually doing the physical work of painting the trim, so just an internal battle in my mind but that's all right we are going to get it done here's my dinner for tonight i wanted something yummy and cozy so i ordered from a place called the cleveland vegan it's one of our favorite places this is the vegan breakfast sandwich with gluten-free bread and then i got the breakfast potatoes and an extra an extra side of vegan ranch and then I just have a little grape olipop. I set up this little situation on the couch with some bar stools because we don't have a coffee table yet and then I'm watching some YouTube and just gonna enjoy myself since Mitch won't be home for dinner. Okay so the couch ended up coming and it is just way too big for anywhere. It won't fit in the basement, it won't fit in this room because this from here to here is like I think we measured 125 inches and then here to here is like 98 and so there's just no way that it'll fit anywhere in our house we have kind of like a weird shaped living room so we're gonna figure out what to do with it but for the me for the in the meantime it's just chilling in here that's it for today's vlog, I just wanted to share the couch because we finally got it put together after having the cushions like scattered all over our house for a few days and just didn't end up working out anywhere, which is fine. So we're gonna try and figure out what to do with it, maybe sell it, maybe give it to someone. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, that is the vlog. Thank you for watching this chill vlog. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss another video and I will see you in my next vlog.